What's going on, everybody? How's it going? It's been a good two weeks since I last dropped the podcast slash YouTube. So today is the day that I talk about a very interesting new thing that I found on the internet. And it's about gold nanoparticles and how they can help eye floaters. So I did a little bit of research and I want to go over an article with you. This is going to be kind of a a shorter episode, but it's still great information that should definitely be out there. And oh, by the way, thank you for taking me as I am with the messy hair today. I didn't feel like doing it or wearing it. You know what? Maybe I'll wear a hat, actually. I don't want to make you all see that crazy, crazy hairdo. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's better. Yes. So anyways, I found a very informational article that I want to go over, and it's titled Laser Heated Nanoparticles Bust Eye Floaters, okay? But first, before we get into the article, what I want to do is go over what a gold nanoparticle is, okay? Simple explanation, um, something that you definitely need to know before we go over the article. So, gold nanoparticle. Oh, and by the way, somebody brought this to my attention on right here on the YouTube channel. And they let they left a comment and asked me, have you heard about the gold nanoparticle? Um, you know, the new information that's out there. And I went ahead and looked it up. And this is all brand new, like brand spanking new stuff that I feel we should definitely know about. So anyways, gold nanoparticle. A gold nanoparticle is a nanoparticle with a diameter of 1 to 100 nanometers, which once the dispersed in water are also known as co- colloidal gold. Some of you might have heard of colloidal gold before. I know I have. I heard it somewhere. But anyways, so now that we know what a gold nanoparticle is, let's go ahead and talk about this article, Laser Heated Nanoparticles Bus Eye Floaters. And I'm going to go ahead and read it for you all so that you have the same information that I have. Something that could be very helpful for the eye floater community. Many of us have experienced seeing dark flecks or strings drifting in front of our eyes. Blink and these so-called floaters are gone. Well, some of us. Mine aren't. Like right now in this bright room, I see a lot of them. And I've been seeing, um, you know, I see them every day. You know, they don't go nowhere. But I just have ways to cope with them. And I talk about the ways that I cope with them in, in my previous videos and if you go to like my first video on this channel and you watch that one, I tell you exactly what I do to cope with my eye floaters daily. And also on the next episode, I'm going to do one about this select CBD product, which is a cannabis product. And it actually helps me a lot with uh, relaxation. Um, keeps me really happy, cool and calm. But anyways, we'll talk about this more later. I think it helps with my eyes a lot, actually. But anyways, back to this back to this article so it says blink and these so-called floaters are gone but myopia advancing age and diabetes can all increase the number and size of these protein clumps inside the eyeball to the point at which they disrupt disrupt normal vision in experiments with eye fluid samples researchers have found that gold nanoparticles heated with low energy lasers can help reduce these problematic clumps these tech, this technique could lead to a clinical therapy that's superior to those currently in use. And so next, uh, the article talks about some of the current techniques that are being used for the eye floaters. And uh, I'm not talking about like ways to cope with them, but some of the surgeries that are out there. All right. Uh, healthy eyeballs are filled with a transparent jelly-like substance known as the vitreous humor. That's largely a mesh of collagen and polysaccharide hyaluronic acid. The collagen can form insoluble globs that float within the gel, scattering light and potentially disrupting vision. We all are, you know, going through that right now, right? If you're watching this video, you you probably definitely have floaters. I don't know why else you would watch this. Like, who wants to talk, like, listen to a random guy talk about eye floaters? I wouldn't unless I had eye floaters. Well, unless you just, like, like me like that, then I'm cool with that, too. Hey, make sure you follow the Instagram, by the way, World of Floaters. Make sure you follow the podcast on Spotify, World of Floaters, and all other podcast outlets. 
And if you're listening to this on Spotify right now, and this is how you discover this podcast, you better follow me or else I am going to be mad at you. Anyways, all right, let's get back on track here. Where did I stop at? Oops. This is the problem when you're like looking at it on a phone. Um, I'll just start right here and we'll see what happens. The collagen can form insoluble globs that float within the gel, scattering light and potentially disrupting vision. Clinicians treat these problematic floaters by vitrectomy. Look that up if you don't know what that is. It's one of the most popular eye floater treatments, but it doesn't always work. Vitrectomy and or an invasive and irreversible irreversible process that replaces the vitreous fluid with a saline solution or by shining a high energy laser beam onto the light or onto the eye to break clumps apart studies have found that 38 percent of patients report the laser treatment helped their symptoms and their procedure carries risk of damage to the lens or retina 38 percent. so that's less than half that's why i haven't done none of those surgeries because I think I need a little bit more of a assurance than 38%, and especially if I'm going to spend the money on it. Oh, and by the way, I know some of you do want to get those surgeries done, but don't have the money or health insurance for that. So I did want to let you all know by donating to the channel via Cash App or Venmo, I am raising funds for people to go ahead and get that treatment. And that's one of my missions that I want to do is help others who have eye floaters and get them to be able to get those surgeries if they can't afford them. I think that will be fucking awesome. Excuse my language. Anyways, back on track. Stephen C. D. Smith of Gent University, G-H-E-N-T, probably said it wrong, and his colleagues looked to gold nanoparticles for a better solution. These nanoparticles tend to remain immobile in the vitreous humor at the site of injection, but coating them with a layer of hyaluronic acid, the same molecule present in the eyeball, allows them to travel and cluster on collagen bundles. This clustering may be because the coated nanoparticles are repelled by similarly charged hyaluronic acid in the humor, allowing them to move to collagen fibers where hyaluronic acid is absent, says Felix Savage, a postdoctoral researcher in D. Smith's lab and the first author on the study. The test with the coated nanoparticles, the team first heated the collagen solution, which causes the protein to clump and form fibers that mimic those in the eye. The researchers then added the nanoparticles to the solution and exposed the light mixture to short pulses of low intensity laser light. Dark filled microscopy revealed that laser treatment broke the fibers into smaller pieces. Compared with larger nanoparticles, the 10 nanometers diameter gold nanoparticles they tested scattered less light, which would likely affect vision less and required less laser energy to heat up, protecting the surrounding vitreous fluid, Savage says. They are also more likely to diffuse faster through the humor to reach the floater targets. It's a really targeted effect, he says. The method required about 10% of the energy of conventional laser therapy. This is pretty good in terms of limiting side effects and potential damage to nearby cells, says Michael Munier of Polytechnic Montreal, who studies nanostructures for medicine and was not involved with the study. In subsequent experiments, Savage and his colleagues found that nanoparticle laser treatment had no effect on the viability of the cultured human molar cells, a kind of cell found near the retina. The team also tested the technique on samples of vitreous humor taken from people who had undergone the vitrectomy and observed that floaters were smaller or broken apart after nanoparticle treatment. Studies in living organisms will necessarily determine whether the eye can clear nanoparticles after treatment or whether the nanoparticles and problem cause any problems if they remain in the eye definitely. I don't know about you all. That's the end of the, the article, by the way. I will have the link for that article so you can read it yourself, just in case you really just couldn't stand my voice saying the article, because I, I pretty much did it word for word. Um, so it will be available for you to click on the information below. But here's my my opinion on this. Um, 
that sounds not bad at all because it's only using 10% of the energy from the laser used uh, versus the previous laser treatments that people are doing. And they're saying that these gold nanoparticles are breaking up the collagen in the eye. I like that. I like that a lot. This is probably one of the, the better um, surgical treatments that I've even heard of. But it's very new in the process and they haven't done it on a lot of people that's what i've took from that article so it seems like they need people to test this on i'm not really a guinea pig type of guy so i'm gonna go ahead and sit back and wait for more people to get the gold nanoparticle treatment done and we'll see what happens but to me i think that they're onto something with that gold na nanoparticle uh, treatment and i'm very excited to see what happens and I'm putting this out there because I want to help spread the word on things that can help us with eye floaters. I hope you all appreciate this and find these videos that I'm doing valuable. I take time out of my day to do these videos because I think it's important. And I know what it's like to go through, um, you know, the process of having eye floaters is very problematic. And it, and it can cause people stress, depression, and all kinds of things like that. And that's why I do these videos. I really, really hope you appreciate these um, these videos and these podcasts, please, please, please follow all the outlets that I'm on. I really, really enjoy speaking to you all. Leave comments. Make sure you like and subscribe this video, and I will talk to you all soon. And I'm out. World of Floaters. Peace. I know I'm forgetting something. There's something I wanted to talk about. I can't think of it right now. I'll catch you all next time.